Okay, so for this standard, it starts out with scientific notation. Um, scientific notation is when numbers are really big or really small. Okay, so really small numbers being decimals that are extended or very large numbers that are in the millions, billions, or trillions or beyond. Um, notice we have a number times 10 to the nth power. Okay, so a num the number n, the base, must be larger than, it has to be larger than 1, um, sorry, larger than 0 but smaller than 10. It means it has to be between the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Okay? Okay? And so, an exponent with a base of 10 shows multiplication or division. Okay, now, exponents are always going to be multiplication, right? Okay, but we have positive exponents and we have negative exponents. A positive exponent moves the decimal to the, okay, so if it's positive, it's going to get bigger, which means it's going to move the decimal to the right. And a negative exponent is going to move it which direction? Yeah. It's going to move it to the left because it's going to get smaller. Okay, so our standard notation. This is standard notation. Then we're trying to change it to scientific notation. Okay, so if we need this to be between 1 through, you know, 1 through 10. It cannot be 10, so 1 through 9. We would have to move our decimal. A decimal is understood to be here on a large no number, right? So go ahead and place it there. We don't write them, but they are there whenever it's a whole number. And we're moving our decimal back so that this is 4.2. So we're moving it back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. So this is going to be... 4.2 times 10, and what do you think the exponent is going to be? It's going to be 5 because we moved it back 5 places. So it's to the 5th power. Okay? Now, what if we were given exponent... I'm sorry, what if we, what if we were given scientific notation and we're supposed to work backwards to standard notation? Well, look what we have. We have 7.35 times 10 to the 8th. 8 is positive. That means we move our decimal which direction? It says we move it to the right. So we take 7.35 and we move our decimal to the right. How many places? All right, we have 2 accounted for. That's just 2. So how many zeros do I need to put on the end of that? 6. So 7, 3, 5, and then 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means the decimal is all the way back here now. If you wanted to show the um, thousands and millionths place, you could put, place your commas in there. So it's 735 million. Okay, so now we have another one where we're going from standard notation to scientific notation. Now we're going to have to move this decimal so that the number is between um, 1 and 10, right? Okay. So, what do I need to move my decimal in between? What two values? It has to be bigger than 1, but less than 10. Do I put it between the 0 and 8, the 8 and 9, or the 9 and 7? If I put it between the 9 and 7, that's going to give me 89.7. Is that number below 10? Oh, 9 and 8 and 9, right? Put it between the 8 and 9 because 8.9 is between 1 and 10, right? Okay. So our whole number must be larger than 0 but smaller than 10. So it has to be moved 1, 2, 3 places. We're moving it 3 places. But notice that it's a small number. And small numbers are represented by negative exponents, right? 
So instead of positive three, we're gonna show that we have to move it back three. And what is our new number that's going in our whole values place? 8.97, and that's because it has to be between one and 10. Okay, let's look at our next one. Going from scientific to standard. Okay, so we have 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. Should this um, decimal be getting bigger or smaller? It should be getting much smaller. So we're gonna move our decimal to the left how many places? Four places. That one of them is already counted for, right? So how many zeros do I need to add on before that? I need to add three more. Those are called placeholders. So I'm going to start with point and zero, 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 and then I've got a one and a four. Standard notation does not have times 10 to a number. Scientific does. Okay. Let's look at uh, using our calculator. Okay, so turn your calculator on and clear it for me. You see the button that says mode here at the top? Okay, if you press that button, you see you have a couple of rows of different things. Okay, you see that second row where it says norm, and then next to it it says SCI, S-C-I. This stands for scientific, so bring your cursor down and then over, and press enter to highlight that one. So now it's in scientific notation mode. Okay, we're going to clear it. You see at the top of your screen where it says SCI? That's how you know that it's on. Okay, so now in your calculator, let's just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Press enter. What did it do? It turned it into scientific notation for us. Okay, so that's one way that you can check. So like put in 420,000 here and press enter. 4.2 times 10 to the fifth. So that's what we have here. If you wanna put in 735 million, it gives us 7.35 times 10 to the eighth. So it will, it will help us out some. Okay. Go back into mode and turn it back on to normal for me. And then just press clear. Okay. It will do scientific notation um, also. So you, like if you wanted to type this in exactly as you see it, 4.2 times 10 to the fifth. Remember, you use your exponent key. It's right over here. And it will go ahead and convert it to you. As long as it's not too large, it'll do it for us. Okay, so if you weren't sure how to get it out of scientific notation mode, go to mode and just make sure that normal is highlighted. To highlight it, you press enter and then just clear your calculator and it'll go away. So for calculator skills, the buttons that we use, we pressed that button that says mode. And then we selected SCI.